for joining us today, everyone. Um, we have Lizette Swenson from Essilor who will be presenting on the new Verilux S series. Um, please hold your questions till the end, but please, please ask any questions that you might have, and we will be more than happy to, or more than happy to answer them for you at the end of the presentation. And I'll just put everyone on mute as a courtesy, and I will hand over control to you there. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us to learn about the Verilux S series. Um, one moment here. Looks like we've got. Let me get this back where it needs to be. Okay. All right. Pardon that. Um, as I said, thank you for joining us to learn about our newest Verilux platform, the Verilux S series. We're very excited about the platform because this is unlike any other Verilux lens. We don't even keep it in the same product portfolio. The Verilux S series has... Is that, I'm not uh, seeing your PowerPoint yet. Huh. Did you accept? <laughs> yes. There you go. Yep, perfect. Sorry okay. about that. I think it's just a delay. Uh, some of these slides may delay and uh, they will catch up because the no PowerPoint problem. is graphically heavy. Okay, so the platform, as I was mentioning, really stands alone. It's a very unique platform. And the Verilux S series, you'll see oftentimes the tagline, Limitless Vision. And that's basically what we're going to talk about today, is the technology behind the Verilux design. And with any Verilux product, what, the one thing we do have in common here is we use live optics. Live optics is a methodology in R&D to test our lens design on patients in real life conditions. We go through the steps of the live optics uh, process, which means using virtual reality tools, uh, going back to our uh, technology design, matching up the calculations, developing prototypes, and using real wear testing. Then we test the lens on real wares. If they're not 100% satisfied, we start over. So there'll be quite a bit of information on real wear testing in this uh, webinar. Let's see, this is where the slides are slow. Okay. And I apologize for the gap in the graphics. I'll try and move these a little bit ahead so they'll catch up with the lecture. Within the platform, you are going to see three different designs. The Verilux S design, the Verilux S Fit, and the Verilux S4D. The uh, technology behind the entire Verilux S series is based on three revolutions, very unique revolutions. The first that we'll be speaking about is nanoptics technology. And basically, nanoptics is a true revolution in lens technology, and we'll get into the reasons why. The second portion will be about synchronized technology, and this is a revolution in lens design. And the last piece is 4D technology, which is a revolution in the ultimate in personalization. And I just will preface that 4D is exclusive to the Visi office. So beginning with nanoptics, this is the core of the Verilux S series. The technologies found in nanoptics are built, or I should say the technologies found in the Verilux S series all include nanoptics, and it's one of the core building blocks within the design. One of the things that we found out in our real wear testing and in the clinical studies were patients said, that with their progressive lenses, they feel dizzy when they wear their progressive lenses. They feel like they're going to fall, especially when they're going down the stairs. They want to hold on to the railing. So we took this feedback and we kept this in mind when we developed the lenses because we wanted to be sure we were really addressing the patient's needs. Nanoptics is um, a technology that's created to address swim. So nanoptics, to talk about it, I need to digress for just a moment. All Verilux S-series lenses are digitally surfaced. 
they're the second generation of dual optics lenses. What that means is the design elements are on the front and they're on the back side of the lens. And nanoptics is basically going to change the fundamental structure of the lens. We're going to actually change the geometry of the lens blank, that semi-finished blank that we design the lens from. So this is very unique and we'll talk about the patented technology behind the blank later in the presentation. But this is unlike any other progressive lens on the market today. So we take with nanoptics the lens surface and we break it down into optical elements. The optical elements are re-engineered to allow light to pass through each element without allowing unwanted light deviation. So we are controlling the unwanted light deviation. So unwanted light deviation is caused when the curve effect on the front and the uh, lens is matched with the power on the, on the back surface. They don't match and they create this light deviation and the patient therefore experiences swim. So using nanoptics, we're able to match the front with the power on the back and virtually eliminate these aberrations. By doing so and managing the light deviation properties of the lens, nanoptics isn't changing the laws of optics, but what we are doing is managing the unwanted light deviation. So on the screen, we just have an illustrative effect of how the light passes through the optical element without any deviation. In the next slide, you see that we've combined the optical elements. And someone mentioned, they said, oh, would we see this on the lens? No, we've done this for more of a demonstrative purpose for being able to explain that the new geometric lens surface is made up of these optical elements to form one lens surface. So they aren't actually available, um, visible on the lens but they are there to illustrate the combination of the elements with the technology behind it. So as a result of nanoptics and these um, individual optical elements working together throughout the lens for continuity, we're able to virtually eliminate swim and the patient experiences stability in motion. So as they're turning their head, their, their dynamic movement is not affected. They don't see the blur. They don't feel unbalanced. In the next slide, we use a stair step example because this uh, tends to be one of the ones that patients most discuss. On the left, you will see a leading digital progressive lens that we tested against the Verilux S-series lens design um, addressing nanoptics. So you see the little optical element on the right to demonstrate this is the Verilux S-series. We begin with a wearer's addition of just a plus one. And as you can see from the yellow lines in the slide, you see a slight curving, a deviation. The walls will look a little different. And as the power increases to a plus two, if you look at the lens on the left under the other digital progressive, you can see the light bending, that unwanted aberration. And if you look at the Verilux S-series, the light passes straight through. And you can see on the stair step as well that the lines are straight. So the patient isn't experiencing that swim effect or unwanted deviation. And then when you go to a plus three, of course, the effect is increased. The aberration is increased on the left and on the right you have no deviation with a three add. So with nanoptics technology, the outcome is that we're able to provide continuity throughout the lens without light deviation. What does that mean you know, to the patient? Well, it's virtually going to eliminate swim and provide the patient stability in motion. When we look at wear testing, and we compared Verilux Physio Enhanced, which has been the number one design and in wear testing against other competitive lenses has always been the number one ranking lens. When we tested against our own Verilux Physio Enhanced, the Verilux S design, 
amongst the wearer testing, it was ranked number one in motion stability in a dynamic environment, in an environment where the patient is either moving their head or moving through their daily activities experiencing swim. Well, with the Verilux S design, they were not able to notice swim at all. Another point that came out of the wear testing results were the wearers were able to adapt immediately to the Verilux S design. They didn't have to take a little time to get used to it. They didn't take a day. They didn't take 12 hours. They immediately um, adjusted to the Verilux S design in the wear test studies. Now we're going to talk about synchronize, the second technology that I mentioned. And again, we want to talk about wear test feedback that we received when we were testing and looking at the design. Just as we started with the patient's needs and man optics, on the screen now you'll see quotes from the patient. I don't enjoy reading anymore. I can't see the entire page when I read. My vision's limited. I just can't see like I used to. And we found that the patients expressed frustration, obviously, with these points. With Synchronize, we're able to help resolve situations like this. And I'll go through the technology and talk to you why. And again, this when we, pardon me, when we talk about Synchronize, we're talking about now that revolution in lens design. So for the first time in a progressive lens design, Synchronize uses the RX from the left eye and the RX from the right eye, and they calculate the lenses as a pair simultaneously, which is unlike what we've done with progressive, progressive designs in the past. Um, as you know, progressive designs, we calculate the right lens, and then we calculate the left lens, which is done individually but they are not calculated together. By doing the calculation together, synchronized technology ensures that both eyes are going to work together as one visual um, system. So they're simultaneously calculated so these designs can both work at the same time, which allows edge-to-edge -edge clarity um, from top to bottom and edge-to-edge. The result, the patients experience expansive vision. They feel that their field of vision is very clear. They've even mentioned things like it feels like single vision to them. So why is this important? Why would this calculation be so critical? And what, why is that important to the technology? Well, when you look at the patient populations, over 93% of the patient population as you may know, has different RXs between their eyes. And the greater the difference, the harder it is to ensure that both eyes are going to be viewing the same image and working well together. So with Synchronize, we've eliminated that. And I have a demonstration to show you just as an illustrative effect why it's different and how our design works to provide the edge-to-edge -edge clarity. On the top, you will see a different progressive. And you'll notice that you know, you've definitely got two different pres prescriptions. And as the prescription, in the right eye and the left eye are targeting, um, pardon me, like we're in a cockpit and they're looking through their viewing zone. The right eye prescription is not matched to the viewing channel. And they're hitting that area of aberration. So we illustrate it here by the uh, dotted line. Things aren't quite as clear. When you look at the prescription, same prescription in the Verilux S series, you see that they have a clear viewing channel and that they're not experiencing any aberration because both the right and left eye are in the viewing channel and not in the area where the aberrations are. Again, as the prescription changes, you're going to see greater differences. You're going to, again, see the right eye further deeper into the area where there's aberration. Yet with the Verilux S series, both eyes are working simultaneously together to view the target clearly without aberration. And that's evident here, especially in the near vision. 
and in the intermediate. So when you read your brochures that are provided with the Verilux S series, this is what we refer to when we talk about retinal image mapping. Uh, this is the outcome of our R&D, and we're able to be able to get the eyes to work together as one visual system. Even though the Rx in the left and the right eye may vary greatly, we can calculate the lenses together simultaneously, produce the lens for one viewing system, allowing the patient to have edge-to-edge -edge clarity and expansive vision. So one point to mention, um, when the patients were uh, providing their feedback from the wearer's test, they not only talked about the edge-to-edge -edge clarity in every gaze direction and that you know, they had um, expansive vision, but they noticed the largest improvement was in the intermediate zone. So we've discussed now nanoptics and synchronized and how these two technologies together are going to provide your patients stability in motion and expansive vision. Over 95% of the patients rated their overall vision as excellent. It wasn't just average or acceptable, it was excellent. So I'm going to move on to 4D technology, and I'm moving rather quickly because I want to allow time for questions. But again, I'll just reiterate that 4D is the third technology, and it is um, provided uh, with the Visi office. So you must have a Visi office system to be able to dispense the Verilux S4D. Uh, we speak of the Verilux S4D design as the ultimate in personalization. It encompasses, again, the nanoptics and synchronized, which we've discussed, but then it has the added benefit of 4D technology or what we'll be getting into uh, talking about the leading dem dominant eye. So just as we're right or left-handed, and sometimes at this point when we're presenting, we'll have you write your name with your right hand and then write your name with your left hand, and you always have a dominant uh, right or left hand. Well, that's not unlike that, or I should say that point is not unlike that with your eyes. With your eyes, you, as many of you have heard of the leading dominant eye. Um, when the leading dominant eye reaches the object being viewed first, um, that happens when we change our gaze direction. Over 90%, 90% of the population has a leading dominant eye. And the breakout between left and right eye is about 30% for the left eye and 70% for the right eye. Pardon me. So by taking the leading dominant eye into account, the design is altered during the calculation to give the best performance for the visual system. And the way that we're able to do that is the optical blur on the leading dominant eye we found in our research to impact the visual reaction time. By taking the leading dominant eye and removing that blur in front of the eye, we were able to provide quicker access to every area of the lens. And what does that mean to a patient? It means faster visual reaction time. So when the patient moves their head, they sight an area and they look at it, they're able to quickly see the target. Um, and we have some great videos that we can have for you to use in your office for those of you that may be thinking about the Visi Office system or maybe a few of you already have it, um, where it shows the patient driving and, for instance, he's very easily able to look through his left rearview mirror or look through his right and look straight ahead, not experience the swim, be able to focus whether it's the dashboard of the car, or whether it's a little more intermediate vision or distance, and they're able to respond quickly. And the driving example was the best example they found because in progressives, as some of you may experience, sometimes it's hard to turn your head, look through your side mirrors, be able to look straight ahead, and have ultimately clear vision 
at all times. So Verilux S4D, as I mentioned, not only incorporates these unique uh, characteristics, pardon me, I'm getting ahead here. I shouldn't be allowed to drive the computer. Um, not only has the unique characteristics, but we also, with the Visi Office system, are able to address the eye rotational center, natural head posture, as well as position of wear. There are more required measurements as well, I mean, obviously, such as PD and fitting height, pantoscopic tilt, wrap angle for the position of wear measurements. But we also, with the eye rotational center, um, that replaces the vertex distance. We also look at the natural head posture and measure that. Obviously, the leading dominant eye. And it does have um, the optional measurement of adjusting the progression length for those patients where you know they have a particular concern and you need to address that. Also, we have the head-eye ratio and stability coefficient. So the outcome for patients is they have the ultimate personalized lenses that cater to the leading dominant eye along with utilizing the technologies of synchronized and nanoptics previously mentioned. And the patient is able, as I mentioned, to have faster visual reaction time. A couple of closing points in summary, just to kind of wrap things up so we can get to questions. In nanoptics, it's a revolution, as I mentioned, when we first started in lens technology. And it has four unique patents with the nanoptics technology. And then Synchronize has two unique patents. And again, as I mentioned, it's the revolution in the lens design. So we have a revolution in lens technology, lens design, and then with 4D, a revolution in personalization, which has two leading patents. Along with all of that, we sum it up with um, this new platform, as I had mentioned in the beginning of the discussion, a totally second generation of dual optic lenses, which include unique digital surfacing processes that have five patents pending to include the unique geometry of that blank, which I mentioned is unlike any other progressive blank geometry um, in previous progressive history. So just looking at the portfolio, it, it's a lot of information. We've got this chart. It's in the ECP brochure. And we have, I think, quite a few um, more support tools for you to share with your patients, to share with your dispensers that will, uh, I think, simplify all of this new information for you. Um, the first design, as we had started out with Verilux S design, nanoptics and synchronize as illustrated on your screen. Then we have the Verilux Fit, which basically addresses the Verilux S design, but has the added component of position of wear. And then we have the Verilux S4D, which encompasses all of the previous concepts, nanoptics, synchronized position of wear for the frame, and then the ultimate personalization addressing the dominant eye. When you look at Ware's test and you look at so the whole Verilux S design portfolio, Ware's rated the Verilux S design number one in every lens feature when testing compared against Verilux Physio Enhanced. So that means we address overall vision, distance, intermediate, near, dynamic, and adaptation. There are two poster submissions for those of you um, that are interested in the clinical proof behind it. We have a poster that was presented called the Irish Poster. It was presented April 20th. And it validated, or the purpose was to validate experimentally the different ways to design PALS in order to minimize space deformation and not compromise the fields of vision. So using the R&D virtual lens simulator, we conducted the test. And the study was accepted and proven that the importance of the actual geometric shape of a PAL for space perception is um, a new way to optimize a PAL design. And the study led to the design of this PAL geometry, which is able to minimize space deformation without compromising the field of vision. 
There's one other poster submission, ARVO. I think you may be more familiar with ARVO. And with ARVO, that was presented May 4th. The study talked about the influence of blur disturbance in the leading dominant eye, and that during a visual detection task and moving your head by using a, what we call a stereoscopic display screen, we tracked the patient's dominant eye movement, and we tracked how the, the non-dominant eye followed. And the study suggested that the leading dominant eye plays the prominent role in time response in visualization of recognition tasks to include head movement. For product details, just real quick, as I said, I'm trying to wrap up for questions. We have 1.50 plastic, we have airwear, thin and light, 167. We will have 174. They are all available in transition. Polarized will be coming soon as well. Um, the availability chart is up here on the screen, but all of this is provided to you and is available in your ECP support materials. And then uh, something very, very unique that we have is the Verilux S-Series Performance Guarantee. You'll see this silver performance guarantee stamp on your brochures. You will see it on the website, and it will have a consumer website up which will also speak to the consumer. And the consumer promise is simply this. If you're not, if the consumer is not satisfied with the performance of your new Verilux S-Series lens, return them to your eye care professional within 30 days. So what does that mean to you? The guarantee covers patients who do not, who do not see that the Verilux S-Series lens uh, provides a superior performance over their previous lenses, and therefore patients who are just not fully satisfied with the quality of the vision delivered by their S-Series lenses, and for patients who do not adapt to their Verilux S-Series lenses. So that's con um, contained in our patient promise, our consumer promise. Now, what do you do um, if you have redos, prescription changes, incorrect measurements, um, you selected the variable progression length, and for whatever reason it, it just didn't work out, then the we have the Verilux guarantee. So it's your typical guarantee or warranty, I should say. Your Verilux warranty is the correct wording. And that would be covered under your Verilux warranty. So just on the screen, a few support uh, literature pieces I've mentioned. There's the ECP brochure. There's a consumer brochure just for the Verilux S-Series. And then if you have a busy office, we have a consumer brochure. For those patients, you would be doing the more personalized version, Verilux S4D4. Um, we also have an in-office loop that has had great response rates, and that's available to you as well. And then the two websites that are listed below. There's the Verilux USA website, which will have Verilux series lenses on there, an entirely separate section. And then for those of you who are interested in Visi Office or the Verilux S4D, um, you have that site available to you as well. So I realize I've just laid a lot of information out here, and I've spoken rather quickly. But I'd like to allow time now for questions. And we can open it up to questions if you like. All right. Thank you, Lizette. Does anyone um, have any questions today while we have the expert on the line here? No questions? Going once, going twice. OK, maybe um, we'll be done for today, Lizette. I think that was a lot of information, but it was an awesome presentation. So thank you so much for the information and for your time. Um, if You're anyone welcome. Would, thank you. If anyone would like to reference this at a later date, um, we will put it on our YouTube channel. You can, um, it's just basically youtube.com backslash Sod's Optical, and this presentation will be available. And one moment here. Whoops. All right, very good. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us today, and have a great rest of your afternoon. All right, thank you. 
Yep, thanks, Lizette. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.